You're looking at this and you're saying, Cliff, that's just Eggs Benedict. But this is You Can Do This Office Edition and we only used a microwave and a toaster oven. Now Eggs Benedict has English muffins, ham, or Canadian bacon, whatever you want to call it, poached eggs, and hollandaise. We're gonna do a little riff on that. We're gonna make it kind of a Florentine and Benedict, and we're gonna add blanched spinach into that. You're just gonna mash as much spinach as you can in this little cup. Now we need to season everything as we go, every layer. Since we have no fancy stove tops, how are we gonna blanch spinach? Well, we're gonna take our mashed up spinach glass and we're gonna walk over to the hot water spigot for coffee. This water is coming out at around 170 degrees. Yours may vary. So we have the salt sitting on the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get it all mixed together. And you know how when you cook spinach, like you start with a giant pan of it and it shrinks down into like this tiny little remain of what used to be this mountain? Well, that's what we're gonna do here. This sh spinach is gonna shrink. That's why we cram the glass. When it's looking very limp and the color changes to a dark green, you know your spinach is done. You don't wanna do it too much. So just like any other regular cooking technique, we're gonna drop it in a nice bath. And I'm gonna drop my spinach in here to stop the cooking process. Also, this helps lock in the flavor. So if you have it just kind of sitting out, it's gonna turn brown on you. And it only needs to be in the ice bath for a second. All right, so let's take our bowl that we just used, put a paper towel in it, take our spinach, and we're gonna let it drain. And this is gonna be going on English muffins, so we don't want soggy, wet spinach over our toasted crispy, delicious muffin. Next thing, we need to address the ham and the English muffins. Watch how scientific this is. We put two pieces of bread and two pieces of ham on a tray. Now, we're gonna walk over here to a magical machine that's almost in every office, the toaster oven. We're gonna put it in there, Ugh. start, and go. Four minutes, 30 seconds, we'll be done. Now, this game is already getting upped, right? You can look at Carol, or Bradley, who's making their avocado toast, who's king of the office, because everyone's like, oh my god, avocado toast. And now you're gonna slam down Eggs Benedict and be like, what? Game up, gauntlet, thrown. What do we need to do next? The stuff that needs to be kept very, very hot. And we're gonna start with eggs. So I filled this bowl maybe with about a cup and a half of water. You can use mugs. I tried using mugs on this a lot, like, uh, like a coffee mug. What happens is the underside, if your coffee mug is too thick, if the ceramic is too thick, the top will cook before the bottom's done. So you have a very uneven egg. The top will be completely cooked and the bottom will be a little raw. But if you're using a thinner mug, then that possibly would work. Um, our bowls here, the ceramic on them are pretty thin because they're cheap. They're very expensive. So we're gonna use these bowls. We're gonna salt this water. Mix it around, get it incorporated because uh, this is how we're gonna season the egg. We're gonna crack this egg inside. I do recommend using uh, jumbo eggs because one, it's more egg, and two, it cooks better. Take the bowl, flip it over. You're gonna make a dome now. In the microwave it goes. Use just regular cold water. I tried starting in hot water and the eggs exploded in the microwave. We're finding that around a minute and 20 seconds is kind of like the sweet spot where the whites are nicely, beautifully set and you still have a runny interior. Microwave wattages and power do vary. So let's check on this. This is an awkward angle to reach in. So I doubt that this is done because I only had it in there about a minute. Right, okay, so look at this. We're about halfway there. I'm gonna add another 30 seconds. Like just play with it. You can go in 30 second increments. So here we go. Take this out, it's a little warm. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at that. That's a poached egg in there. So we're gonna take this out, we're gonna set it aside just like this, and we're gonna do one more very quickly. And here we go. Dos. Doce poached egges. Now, we're gonna make hollandaise in a microwave. Hollandaise has these main ingredients, butter, eggs, lemon, cayenne. We're gonna work fast while our stuff's still there. We have this, all right. I have six tablespoons butter. We're gonna melt that in the microwave. About 30 seconds or so, we're gonna get it nice and hot. To emulsify, we have one of these in our office, which is uh, a little foam whipper, just like that. I'm going to need two egg yolks. I'm gonna separate these eggs out. One egg yolk, two. 
So we have a little whipper here. You stick this in milk to make a uh, froth, basically. It's a frother. I'm just gonna use it to break up the eggs and mix them together. So our butter, it's now melted. We do wanna work quickly, but we also wanna work efficiently by not adding too much butter at once. Because if you do that, these egg yolks are gonna scramble. And then you get scrambled eggs, which means that your hollandaise is broken. And if you're looking at this and you're saying, whoa, that's a lot of butter, it's hollandaise. And what this thing is actually doing, it's aerating the sauce, which aerating means that it's working in air bubbles, which makes it really light and fluffy, which also gives it body. A little lemon juice, a little cayenne, and some salt. Season every layer. Now, we're officially ready to plate up. The English muffins go down. Next up is our ham. Nice and toasty and warm. Then we're gonna move on to our spinach. Hit that spinach in the microwave for another 20 seconds to bring it back up to temp. Our eggs that have been sitting in the bowl, slide those right on top. And now, for the finishing touch, the Coupe de Gracie, instead of de top. We're gonna take our beautiful hollandaise, our velvety hollandaise, and run that over the top. Don't be stingy with it, you got some more. Sprinkle of chives on top. All right, Carol and Bradley, with your avocado toast, this is You Can Do This with Office Eggs Benedict. For other food trickery, that was terrible, but just click here. Yakitori, the art of Japanese grilling skewer thingies on charcoal and fire, sometimes gas. We want to bring in.